Welcome to Classic Game Room. This is the review you're looking for of Star Wars Battlefront 2, the game to play after playing with your Star Wars figures. Woo! I'm not at my post because I'm at the bar with Admiral Akbar. Oh, look, it's friends! Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, boy, boy, oh, I'm sorry. Star Wars Battlefront. Two, according to the packaging, it's the best-selling Star Wars game of all time, and I find it hard to believe that this outsold The Empire Strikes Back on Atari 2600 because that game is awesome, but so is this. It's like a giant hug from a Wookiee in video game form. Just picture that. As if the first Star Wars Battlefront wasn't already most impressive, the second one comes along and makes it even better, giving players more units to command, more vehicles, awesome space battles, and incredible environments, as well as Jabba the Hutt. Who can withstand explosives? How is he killed by a 90-pound girl in a metal bikini? Just throw the realism out the window. This should be a pretty easy game to review. You can just watch my review of Star Wars Battlefront 1 and double everything. There you go, that's Battlefront 2. More of what was already amazing. Which is why we all want a Battlefront 3. Where is it? And damn it, I want to play as the Gonk Droid. So George Lucas, Disney, Lando, whoever's in charge these days, make a Battlefront 3 because this lets fans relive the best moments of Star Wars without having to wade through any Trade Federation crap. You just dive into the action and have a good time. It's one of the most fun video games that you can play, which makes it absolute heaven for fans of new or old Star Wars. So you youngins get clone troopers and young Obi-Wan, while us old-timers get stormtroopers and the AT-AT. I'd say it's a win-win situation for everyone, except that guy. If you give me an AT-AT, I'm just going to rain terror from above. While the game is broken into these bite-sized chunks of Star Wars action, it gives you many ways to enjoy them, like a galactic conquest mode, storylines, multiplayer, and split-screen. And while the PlayStation 2 multiplayer doesn't seem to work anymore, it still gives you infinite hours of fun. Because, like I said in the first game, there's no right or wrong way to play Battlefront. You play it your way. Depending on what mode you're playing, you can try to complete objectives or just jump into vehicles and wreak havoc on the battlefield. The choice is yours. Had a rough day? Take it out on the Ewoks. They deserve it. But I'll warn you, they're tougher than they look. This whole game is just a win-win situation. Like stabbing Jar Jar with a lightsaber, it looks cool and it's fun. The only possible complaint that I can think of is that the PC version makes the PlayStation 2 version look bad. It's true, the PC version, which you can download from Steam, looks amazing. But really, fellow Star Wars fans, what we have here is one of the very best Star Wars games ever created. And you can't pass it up. You can't. You need this in your collection. It's on PlayStation 2, Xbox, and I'm pretty sure we'll see a Vectrex release before Battlefront 3. It's a wonderful game, one of my favorites. While it's not as challenging as Republic Commando or as quirky as The Empire Strikes Back on Atari, I love that game. It's Battlefront 2, twice as good as Battlefront 1, and that was already one of the best Star Wars games. This is as much fun as you can have in the Star Wars universe without actually having to kiss a Wookiee. Play with Yoda, did I mention you can? It's Battlefront 2. Don't discuss it with a committee. Get this game today. Let them bear witness to the cost of rebellion. Got him on the run! Watch those blasters! Repairing time. Sorry to make the rest of us. 
Coming around. 